The first thing that I need to do in problem one is to read the data in. I'm going to create a data frame called schools df. And I need to decide, do I want to use read.csv or read underscore CSV? Since I want to read it into a tibble, I need to say read underscore CSV. And I'm going to read this in from the URL, which I've gotten from a previous assignment, and I'll just paste that in there. Now, if I try to run this line, it doesn't know about the function read underscore CSV. So I need to load the library that contains read.csv, which is the library readr. If I check my packages index, I can see that readr is not turned on. I could also just load tidyverse, and I think I'll probably do that because there are other functions that I'm going to want to use. So before I do this, I'll say library tidyverse, and let's run that. All right, it's loaded core tidyverse packages. Here's read R. Now if I run this, it runs with no problem, and I have school's data frame up here. So that's all good. The next step is to select the school name and assign them to another tibble. So let's call this um, minimal data frame. And I'll use the assignment operator. This time I want to do select. I'll put the name of the data frame, which is schools df. And now I need to list which of the columns I want to put in. So I need to put in schools name. And if I just do this, I'm going to have a problem because tipples will allow me to use spaces, but I'm going to need to put a backtick here around school name because of the space. I'll have to do the same thing for zip code. For male and female, I don't need to worry about that. All right, let's try that and see if it works. Okay, so here's minimal data frame. Just contains those columns. If I click on it, I can see that it worked the way I wanted it to.